Hi, my name is Jos Geraglin and I'm CEO and co-founder of Yields. Today I would like to talk about model dependencies. In my previous talk about a model inventory, we already stressed the importance of being able to represent correctly relationships between models. This is driven by a large extent by the regulatory frameworks. Indeed, if we look at, for instance, SR117 in the States or PS718 in the UK, we will notice that being able to document properly and understand correctly the dependencies between models is one of the key requirements by the regulator. This is fairly logical because if one model fails, it will automatically have impact on all the downstream models. Today I would like to give you two examples of typical model dependencies. In, for instance, a market risk model, where we are computing the worst case loss, there is a very natural set of dependencies. Typically, we start from market data, quotes, to be able to build what we call derived market data, which has, for instance, interest rate curves or volatility surfaces. Those inputs are then used in valuation models that compute the net present value and sensitivities of derivative transactions. And PNL vectors are then used to compute a value at risk or expected shortfall to basically compute the worst case loss. From this dependency, it's fairly logical and fairly easy to see that if, for instance, one of the market data generation algorithms, such as a curve generator, is unstable, it will have a direct impact on the resulting value at risk. Something similar happens in machine learning models. Indeed, the standard machine learning pipeline consists of several steps. We will always start by preparing the data, after which we are going to extract relevant features. And those features will then build, first of all, a training set that is used for training the actual model. And then afterwards, the trained model is going to be used in production. Each of those steps consists of algorithms that need independent validation. Indeed, data cleaning is, for instance, often done by using autoencoders, which are a special type of neural networks. Feature generation, feature engineering, and also feature selection are typically also done in an algorithmic way to be efficient. And then training and operating a machine learning model obviously also requires analytics. With these two examples, I hope I have been able to illustrate dependencies between models and why they are important to understand. Thank you.